next from Debbie. But we do have our own system moving in tonight, looking to bring us maybe some localized flooding into Tuesday morning. It's going to get a little bit cooler overnight once the rain finally pushes through here. But it might be till after midnight when widespread rain finally starts to move in, maybe 3 to 4 a.m., 59 degrees in Grand Rapids. As the rain moves in, humidity drops significantly, temperatures drop significantly. Most areas in the mid-70s right now, so a 16-degree drop in about eight hours is ahead. Live radar now, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere picking up some radar returns, but light showers are actually being picked up. Macosta over towards Grash at Clinton counties as well, and keeping an eye on the thunderstorm clusters developing over Lake Michigan. That looks like a little precursor for the more widespread rain that is over in Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Tornado watch for Iowa and far western Wisconsin. One tornado warning active in northern Iowa County, and that line of severe thunderstorms embedded within that as well. That's what's sweeping down, but you can see this leading edge of moisture starting Starting to develop and move off towards the east and southeast. We're also on the cutoff of the warm air. That warm front stalled out right across the state, 75 in Grand Rapids compared to 65 in Ludington. And there's those 50s back where that rain is. North wind's going to be cutting through as well. So we've been kind of in the sweet spot. While we do have humidity, well, it hasn't been the worst of this system. Low 70s near I-94, upper 60s Grand Rapids, and 50s in Big Rapids. So again, a significant difference. And that's why a lot of the instability is focused Holland, Kalamazoo, and far southwest Michigan. You can see it with the severe weather outlook. I think Muskegon and even Grand Rapids might be cut off from this in the next update simply because dew points are already dropping. We're losing that extra moisture and instability, but we're not losing the opportunity to see significant rainfall no matter where we go. Severe outlook, this is from 7 a.m. to noon on Tuesday, areas along and south of I-94. I think that'll be the better opportunity for a severe storm, but even then, it's not looking overly likely to see one. So here's the future track by 5 a.m. We're seeing those pockets of rain move in. Could be some heavy downpours there, but then it becomes really widespread. It just fills in West Michigan almost perfectly for the mid-morning commute. So it's going to be really heavy rain near I-94, potentially along I-96 as well. Widespread one to two inches looks quite likely now, really picking up those rainfall totals as this system has progressed. And with it, we may linger a few showers into the afternoon, although most of them will be focused in the morning hours. On the back side of it, we're going to trend back to some sunshine. High pressure sets up, low humidity. The dew points back to the 50s means afternoon highs in the upper 70s for a couple of days and overnight lows in the 50s as well. But tomorrow, it's going to be a cooler day with the rain high just near 70. So the updated rainfall totals, well, widespread inch, inch and a half in some spots. Again, I think we're going to see some areas push towards two inches the way the trend has been showing within this system and how much rain is really going to be mixing into the system as it develops. So 78 on Wednesday, that's refreshing briefly in the 80s, but it is a fairly cooler weekend. Friday and Saturday do have chances for a few pop-up showers, but no washouts expected.